Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to do our debt logic. So let me show you what we're going to have at the end. So when we die, our widget's going to disappear and a new widget's going to appear, say that you're dead and the screen's going to fade into black. So let's see how to do this. There we go. The first thing we're going to do is going to our widget blueprint for the debt. For the debt, but our widget blueprint that's going to control our canvas panel for debt. We're gonna open it, make sure we have a canvas panel. We're gonna take our image, drag an image right there. We're gonna make sure that image is anchored to the middle. Now we can reset Y and X to zero and the alignment to 0.5. So it's gonna be right in the middle of our screen. And we're gonna make sure that the Z order is minus one because we want the image be behind our text that we're gonna put in a minute. So from there, we're gonna make sure that the color for the background is black. So let's put it to black. And we need to size the position of that text. So the X and Y here for the size, as you remember on our option menu, I have 38, 40 by 2160. So it's exactly what we're gonna put. So we're gonna put 2160. So it's gonna take our entire screen. So regardless of the size of the screen that the player select to play, it's going to be always filling entirely the screen of the player. So we have that done now. So we're just going to add a text this time. So let's add a text, click the text, drag our text to the content panel. We're going to make sure our text is sized to content. We're going to make sure it's anchored to the middle of the screen. So we can reset X and Y. And we're going to make sure we put 0.5 so it's aligned perfectly in the middle of our screen. I'm going to change the text to you're dead and I'm going to change the color to red so now it's a little bit small but we're going to fix this so you can go for your text here and what we're going to do we're just going to make sure that the size here under the font we just move it up until we are happy with that size so I'm going to put 200 and here if you go a little bit down you're gonna have your outliner, which is right here, outliner size, which is a black line that go around your text. So we don't see it well here, but if we change the background for our uh, image here, you'll see that um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, you're gonna see those lines. You see the line here and and if I click on it and remove it to zero, you have no line, but that doesn't really look good. So I'm going to put five here. So right from the start, it's already looked the way I want. And I'm just going to change the color for my image back to black. There we go. So from there, we're all good with this. We're going to come back just to do a little animation here. So actually, we can do that now. So we're going to create an animation and I'm going to call that image animation. And I'm going to make sure it's selected in blue. I'm going to have the track here. And I'm going to select my uh, image. Right. And on the track here, I'm going to make sure that I change the color and opacity. Because it's what I want to change from nothing to black. So I'm going to make sure that I have that selected. So here I can say I have one key. And if I click on the arrow down, you can see it's starting at one here. So I want that to start at zero. So it's already going to be our game in the background and I'm just going to move that all the way up you know like three seconds for an example and I'm going to add now I'm going to change that value to one and I'm going to make sure that I click here so it's it's set up so if you can see here when we're going to die is going to do this slowly it's going to change to black so it's going to fade from our game to basically our color that we picked. So we're all good with that. We're going to compile and save. So we have nothing to do in that widget blueprint anymore. So we can uh, close it. So we're going to go to our blueprint character. So here, just after our help modification, there is a debt here. So if you don't have it, just make sure that you right click and search for debt and make sure you call your function for debt. That we're calling here when we have no more health on our any damage is going to call automatically the debt uh, event. So from the debt event, 
So the first thing that we want to do is um, we want to remove our current widget from the screen, right? So we have a reference to our player HUD right here. If you don't have it, make sure you have one. So from the top here, when we start the game, remember we create our uh, widget interface for our player HUD. We created a reference, so we're going to use this reference down here so we can uh, remove it from the screen. So we're going to take our player HUD, make sure we put it on the screen, and we're going to drag from it, and we're just going to do remove from parent. So that way it's going to disappear from our screen, so it's exactly uh, what we want. From that point now, we're going to make sure that we are creating our new widget, which is our get widget. So we'll just drag from that, create a widget. And from our widget here, we're just going to select our WB underscore debt for creating that widget. From that widget here, we're going to drag from the return value and we're going to search for our um, image here that we have. But remember, we named the animation here, so we're going to search for this. So drag from that and we're going to search for the image animation. So we're going to get that animation so we can play it. Right, and we're gonna drag from that, and we're gonna say play animation, and we're just gonna select the first one here, and we're gonna make sure that it's plugged right there. Okay, so from the uh, widget here that we're creating, we're gonna make sure that we add it to the viewport, so add to viewport, so we can see it on our screen when we play. So let's connect those two together and make sure the return value from our uh, widget here is connected to the animation so it can play that animation for us because the animation is going to look what is the target and the target is our dead widget here and the animation well it's the animation that we created so from that we're going to move a little bit on the side here and uh, we're going to continue our, our things so basically you know when we die we are to make sure that we are unable to do any more input or movement to our character, right? Because technically, uh, if we don't tell the game that we can't move anymore, we're going to be able to move even with the screen on. So we're going to drag from the animation here. Actually, we're going to, before doing that, we're going to take our character movement because it's what control uh, the movement of our character obviously so we're going to drag from that and we're going to do disable movement so that way no more a movement will be allowed uh, allow, allowed and we're going to drag from from that and we're going to make sure that we are disabling so disable the input we don't want to be able to do anything when that widget blue blueprint that widget uh, is on the screen so from that we're going to get or uh, player controller so get player controller and we're gonna get it right there and from that we're gonna drag from it and we're gonna make sure that our mouse cursor is showing on the screen show mouse cursor so I'm gonna make sure that we take set mouse cursor so let's do that so show mouse cursor and we're going to do set and we're going to make sure we check this box so we can have our mouse on the dead screen and from that we're going to drag from our get player controller once again and we're going to set the input to only UI only and we're going to plug it like this so now we have our dead logic and we have our dead widget. So if we try this out, it should work for us. So let's go compile and try it out. So if you want to try it out fast, you can take your health and make sure your health is low. So this way you won't have to wait until you have no more health. So we're gonna play and we're gonna walk over. So when I have no more health, the dead screen appear and it's fade into the color that you pick. So in this case, black. So it's exactly how you do that little animation. The only thing we will have to do is on our depth uh, screen here, we're going to have to add a little panel saying that restart the game or something like this. 
So we'll catch you on the next one.